Hi, good evening everyone. Welcome to TSSP YouTube channel. Today, and I am going to discuss about how we can swap two variables without using third variable. So yesterday, already created a, the video for it for the integer type of variables. Now, and I am going to explain about uh, using a string variable. I already got uh, the request from the student asking how we can swap the two variables without using a third variable for the string type of variables. So, what are the solution we provided for the primitive type of variable it is already there in our previous video now and I am going to explain how we can achieve using string type of variables so now I am going to discuss about two variables string s1 equal to a b C string S2 equal to XY Z. It means S1 variable hold the ABC value of type string and S2 hold the expiry Z value of type string. The first step is we need to sum the both the values using s1 s1 equal to s1 plus s2 so it means a b c plus x y z both the sum value is assigned to the once again s so it might mean to say a b c x y z this is the value for the S1. Now, and I want to take the x, y, z value to the S2. So, for that purpose, what we'll do, we have a string, uh, we have method, substring method. Using that one, <coughs> we'll get the substring of the S1 from a b c so from a b c value i need to get it that has to be stored into the s2 so for the purpose what i am going to do is i am going to s2 equal to s1 the total value will be there in the s1 now. s1 dot sub string method from 0 to s1 dot length minus s2 dot length it means so I am going to get the s1 substring value from a b c value I want to get right so from 0th index to 6 what is the length of s1 1 2 3, 4, 5, 6. It means to say 6 minus and S2 length. S2 had the world still x, y, z. What is the value is 3. 3. It means to say here 0, comma 3. So from 0th position to till 3rd position. I mean to say 0, 1, 2. That is the value will be given written by the substring method that will be followed by this now this has to have the value of a b c now we are using a uh, substring method to get an x y z value to the s1 so what for purpose 
what I will do is I will go with s1 dot substring method passing the s2 dot length so s2 dot length so s2 dot length means whatever the value position from this is the value right so when you given uh, length is here 3 it means from third position i mean to say from third after so 1 2 3 after third we will get the remaining value will be hold it it means to say here this is hold the value this is s1 have the value of x y z so now s1 have the x y z value and s2 have the a b c value so we can see this one practically in eclipse how we can do it so for the purpose and i am going i have already test demo project now i am going to create a class okay main test class i am selecting the main method to be created by default so the same code i am going to copy from here which over the lens of the code and we will test it to print the value of s1 before swapping also we will print it so before swap s1 is abc and s2 equal x y z after swap it s1 is x y z and s2 equal s t is a b c so we can able to swap strings also using substring method without using third variable if you like it please like it share it Subscribe it. Thank you. Thank you all.